Chapter 1. Computer Systems Computer Systems The Functions and Components of a Computer The computer has both hardware and software components. The hardware consists of mechanical and electronic devices, which we can see and touch. The software consists of programs, like the operating system, OS, and application programs for specific task. The computer mainly performs the following four functions. 1. Receives input. 2. Processes information. 3. Stores information. 4. Produces output. The computer system includes all the hardware and software required to make it functional for the user. Types of computer systems Microcomputer The microcomputer is a computer with a microprocessor as a central processing unit. Personal computers and workstations are microcomputers. Personal computers A personal computer, PC, is a microcomputer designed to be used by a single person. These machines run on easy-to-use application software, such as word processors and spreadsheets. Workstations Workstations are expensive and powerful machines used by engineers, scientists and other professionals who process a lot of data, people who need to run complex programs, and display the results graphically use workstations. Portable computer Laptop PC Laptops are battery-powered. These computers are ideal for users who are traveling and work on field away from their offices. For example, Lenovo ThinkPad. Netbook PC. Netbook is a category of small, lightweight and inexpensive computers. They are used by professionals who travel frequently, for example, Acer CPC. Tablet PC. A tablet is a portable touchscreen display computer. You can perform all the functions on it. They run on different operating system, for example, iPad. Mainframes Mainframe computers can process several million program instructions in a second. Large organizations use these room-sized systems as they can handle a lot of data. It is mainly used by insurance companies, banks, airlines, and railway reservation systems. Many computers the capacity of the mini computer is between that of a mainframe and a microcomputer. It is a mid sized computer. It is usually fitted within a single cabinet and is about the size of a refrigerator. It has less memory compared to mainframe computers. Mini computers are used to control machines in a manufacturing unit. Supercomputers Supercomputers are one of the fastest calculating devices ever invented. A supercomputer can operate at speeds measured in nanoseconds, and even in picoseconds. It is used for weather forecasting, oil exploration, weapon research, and large-scale simulation. Network computers Network computers have low memory, less disk storage, and a lower processing power. These computers are designed to connect to the network, especially to the Internet. The computer system comprises of three units. Input unit. The input unit consists of devices that are used to feed data into the computer. Keyboard and mouse are the most common input devices. Scanner and digital cameras are other examples. Process unit. The central processing unit, commonly known as the CPU is the most important unit, where all the processing work is done. The CPU is the control center of the computer, and hence, it is said to be the brain of the computer. Output Unit The output unit consists of devices that are used to give or display an output that the processed information, monitor, and printer are the most commonly known output devices. The CPU has three main components. 1. The control unit, CU. 2. The Arithmetic and Logic Unit, ALU 3. The Memory Unit, MU The Control Unit, CU The Control Unit controls and coordinates all the operations taking place in the system. It controls the flow of data and instructions from one unit to another. The Arithmetic and Logic Unit, ALU This part of the CPU performs all the arithmetical operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, 
and division on the numerical data as directed by the control unit the memory unit mu all necessary software and data need to be stored in the computer this data is stored in the memory unit of the cpu computer memory is measured in bit byte kilobyte megabyte gigabyte and terabyte various units of the computer memory and their interrelations are given 8 bits equals 1 byte 1024 bytes equals 1 kilobyte kb 1024 kilobytes kb equals 1 megabyte mb 1024 megabytes mb equals 1 gigabyte gb 1024 gigabytes gb equals 1 terabyte tb 1024 terabytes tb equals 1 petabyte pb 1024 petabytes pb equals 1 exabyte eb 1024 exabytes eb equals 1 zettabyte zb 1024 zettabytes zb equals 1 yottabyte yb inside the cpu in the cpu there are many parts that all work together these parts are generally found within the cpu case the cpu case unit is either a metal or a plastic box that contains the main components for the computer to run it contains the motherboard processor chip memory unit power supply etc the main components inside the cpu are as follows motherboard the motherboard or main board is the backbone of the computer the motherboard consists of processor chip pci slot memory unit processor chip this is the chip that does the thinking and processing for the computer pci slots pci slots are the outlets in the motherboard that allow you to install an extra component like either a sound card modem video card and other devices memory unit primary memory random access memory ram is the memory unit where data and information are temporarily stored for processing it is the volatile memory which gets cleared as soon as the computer is switched off hard disk drive hdd or secondary memory it is the part of the computer where an information is stored for later retrieval all the information that you access on the computer all the documents pictures email messages and programs are saved in the hard disk drive unlike ram hdd does not store information temporarily dvd rom drive this drive allows you to access the data stored on a cd or a dvd data can also be written modified or erased with the help of the drive chapter 2 internet security the internet is a network of millions of computers from all over the world that allow users to share information and communicate with each other it provides a vast amount of information to access today most of our day-to-day -day activities depend on the internet computer virus a computer virus is a program that copies itself into other programs on the computer causing damage to either the system software hardware or personal information one of the most common ways to get a virus on your computer is by downloading files from the internet from unsafe websites which contain virus like malware malware is short for malicious software types of internet threats the internet is the best tool at our disposal today but we need to be aware of threats on the internet the following are the common types of internet threats 1 spam we use email to communicate with people we know on the internet often you find emails from unknown accounts offering you links with too good to be true offers and promotions these emails are called spam and usually contain malware when opened generally email providers classify such emails into the spam or junk folder and do not display them in the inbox 2 spyware spyware infects in the computer when you download and install free software 
or files from unsafe websites on the internet. Once a spyware program is installed, it starts collecting personal information from your computer. Without your permission, it steals information and gives or sells it on the internet. 3. Adware. It is similar to spyware, but instead of collecting your personal information it displays pop-up advertisements. When you surf the internet, it tracks your activity and search history on the internet and based on the information displays advertisements. 4. Worm. The worm is a common threat to computers and the internet. It can duplicate itself and multiply. Worms can copy themselves to all the computers connected in the network on its own. It stays active in an infected computer's memory. 5. Trojan Horse. It is a type of malware program that gets installed along with genuine software, like games or utility applications. It deletes your files and allows hackers to access your computer remotely. Unlike the worm, Trojan Horse does not duplicate itself, but it is far more destructive. Protection against Internet Threats The best way to deal with the threat of a computer virus is to use antivirus software. Antivirus software protects the computer from viruses and other harmful malware. It helps to detect and remove any virus from your computer. It also scans your online activity to make sure you are not downloading any infected files. Windows Defender is the default antivirus software in Windows 10. To scan files on Windows Defender, follow these steps. 1. Click on Start. 2. Scroll and click on Windows Defender Security Center. 3. Click on the Virus and Threat Protection option. 4. Click on Scan Now button. The quick scan will begin. Safety Tips While Using the Internet 1. Surf the Internet only on trusted web browsers, like Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. 2. Visit and download files from safe websites only. Example, look out for HTTP in the address bar. 3. When surfing the Internet, never share your personal information with strangers. 4. Always use a strong password for your email accounts and never share it with anyone. 5. Open and reply to emails only from people you know and trust. 6. Always back up your files on the computer. 7. Always keep Windows Firewall turned on. 8. Always update your operating system and antivirus software.